Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading. Where in this video today we're going to take a look and see what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. In particular we're going to take a look at your current situation between you and the person that you're thinking of. And then we're going to take a look at your feelings towards each other, clarify any cards of course. And then stick around to the very end Pisces because we will draw some bonus cards for extra messages. This is a general reading as always, take the messages as they best speak for you and leave what doesn't apply. Uh, this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising uh, Piscean placements and to the cross watchers checking in, you're also welcome. I do advise just to take what best speaks for you. Otherwise, um, a personal reading is where it's at. If you feel that your messages are not here, Pisces, then please be sure to check out your Moon sign, your Rising sign and your Venus sign as your messages may be waiting over there. And I just want to say a big warm welcome to those Pisces who have recently subscribed to the channel. It's so good to have you here. Thank you for your support. We are going to open up the reading by taking a look at the current energy between you and the person that you're thinking of, connecting to and dealing with in love this week. The first card coming through is the Ten of Swords followed by the Tower. Okay, I feel like there's been a there's been a sudden ending here. We've got the nine of wands coming in, and at the bottom we have the six of cups. Okay. Yeah, I feel Pisces that you have experienced an ending with someone here. With someone who Maybe you considered uh, your soulmate at one point with the Six of Cups. Mm. We've got the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and there's the Death card again. Look at that. Major Arcana for Scorpio. That's really interesting, uh, Pisces, because we we have just clicked over into Pisces, uh, sorry, not Pisces season, Scorpio season. And we have the death card here, which represents the sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio season really invites us to accept uh, that something is over or something is naturally coming to an end. Mm. You know, the death card wants you to burn something to the ground because, you know, the tower here suggests that the relationship between you and this person isn't working. It's not working because it's not within its integrity. There's something that is very unstable. And it could be with the two of pentacles that the person that you're connecting to is, you know, unstable or they're very inconsistent with you or they're very wishy-washy with you they're very in and out they're very hot and cold and I feel like it's been like this for a while I feel like it's been like this for a while and I feel with the nine of wands here you've gotten to the point Pisces where You've exhausted yourself. Yeah, you've exhausted yourself. You know, it feels like you've been swimming upstream in a situation or in a relationship and you've exhausted yourself. And it's, it's come to the point here with the Nine of Wands where I feel you've grown perhaps maybe very resentful towards this person. Mm. I'm going to clarify. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah. The Five of Swords. There's definitely been a separation, okay? Or a se there is a separation here on the cards. Possibly due to 
this person that you're connecting to, playing with your heart and playing with your mind. It's like with the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, like you never know what you're going to expect with this person. You never know what you're going to expect or get. You never know how they're going to be towards you. Mm. But you know what? I do have to say with the Ten of Swords here, you're going to be okay, Pisces. You're absolutely going to be okay. And I feel like with this Death card, you're almost embracing the change. You're, you're embracing the ending. Mm. Because with the Nine of Pentacles here, it's almost like... You know, you'll be so much better off being on your own. And, and I feel like you know that you will. Maybe at this point, you know that you will thrive so much better um, being single and detached from this person. Hmm. I'm not, it's what, what's really interesting here is I see your person here in the two of pentacles. I don't see them anywhere else here. Can we just uh, clarify these two of pentacles? Why is the two of pentacles here, spirit? Why is the two of pentacles here? Why is the two of pentacles here? Or tell me more about the two of pentacles. Yeah, look at this, the lovers. You could be connecting to a Gemini here. Look, you may have been dealing with someone, Pisces, who was juggling between two people, like literally with the lovers and the pentacles energy, the two of pentacles. This person may have been entertaining somebody else or in between you and somebody else. This person may have had two people on the go, hence why they were being wishy-washy with you, hence why they were being hot and cold with you. It's like this person was, you know, sharing their energy between you and somebody else. Hmm. This person wasn't prioritising you. And I literally feel um, with the Nine of Wands that you really did give this relationship a chance. You gave it your best shot. You gave it everything that you possibly could. And I feel here now that you, you're waving the flag. You know, you're waving the flag. You, you're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I, I'm checking out. But it seems like you embracing this death card energy is going to, you know, support you with the nine of pentacles. It's really going to support you. And it, and it's, I just see you blossoming and, and thriving as a result of you just accepting, you know, that it's, there's a three of uh, wands here. It's time to move on. And look, it's time to move on towards the sun your happiness okay let's um i'm just going to put that card back and those ones back and i'm just going to take a look at your feelings towards this person or let, let's look at their feelings towards you first spirit angels and guides please show me the feelings of the person that pisces is connecting to please show me their feelings towards pisces and or this situation. Please show me the feelings of the person that Pisces is connecting to. How do they feel towards Pisces? How do they feel towards the situation with Pisces? Tell us more. Tell us more. Oh. I thought I saw a card. 
but obviously didn't want to come out. Tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more. How does this person feel towards Pisces? Okay. Eight of Cups. How does this person feel towards Pisces? Page of Cups. Oh, that's interesting. How does this person feel towards Pisces? Oh, the Five of Cups. Wow, this is all Cups energy. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Magician. What's underneath that? The Three of Pentacles. This person is definitely feeling the loss, okay? They're definitely feeling this loss. They're definitely feeling it since you have walked away or since you are deciding to walk away, okay? They're feeling it. They're feeling sad here. They're feeling this void. They're feeling this emptiness. Hmm. And I, I do feel with the Page of Cups here, I get like an energy of someone who is daydreaming and, and fantasizing about you right now. Um, they could be thinking of the good times that they shared with you. I just, I just see this person fantasizing and dreaming about you. Mm. I'm going to clarify this because the page of cups can be it's it can be a message I mean they could be literally thinking about sending you a message saying sorry and the reason why I say that is because underneath the deck they have the magician and the three of pentacles and then look at this the page of swords so I definitely feel like right now this person is thinking about sending you a message in the hopes that you guys can uh, reconnect or, or reconcile here. Mm. This person is, is wanting or desiring to manifest a... A, a reconciliation or a, re, a reconnection here with the Three of Pentacles. I'm seeing it here very, very strongly. Can we just clarify this Page of Cups, Spirit? Can we please clarify this Page of Cups? Why is the Page of Cups here with regards to this person's feelings towards Pisces? Why is the Page of Cups here? The star card, Major Arcana for Aquarius, the Page of Wands, yeah. This person is certainly um, feeling this desire to send you a message. They feel with the star card that you are distancing yourself, that you're removing yourself. They, they may even feel that you're out of reach. Okay, they may be, uh, how do I say, with the, with the Page of Cups, it's like this fantasy of in their head, in their mind, in their thoughts, they're imagining that they can reconnect here with you. But there's something about the star and the Page of Cups. There's something about them. There's a sense of wishful thinking coming through their, their energy. They are wanting to heal the relationship with you, um, but there's something unrealistic about their expectation here, this expectation. They, ha they have an expectation or it's an expectation of themselves. They're, they're wanting to heal it, but I feel it's an unrealistic uh 
intention that they're setting here. It's like an, an unrealistic goal, but they're still guided to send you this message. And I feel it's in the hopes to heal and renew and, you know, restore the connection. And honestly, I just feel like it's because they are missing you and they're longing for you. Um, they're feeling this emptiness and this void since you, you know, decided to end things with this person. And I feel like you're the one that's ending things. The, the Nine of Wands is here. I feel very strongly that you're wanting to embrace the ending. I feel like you're very strongly wanting to accept that this connection isn't going anywhere but there is also a part of you with the nine of wands that still desires to hang in there you know um mm. all right let's let's i'm gonna take those cards back and i'm gonna see how you feel towards this person spirit how, do, how does Pisces feel towards this person how is Pisces feeling towards this person this week how is Pisces feeling towards this person this week tell me more tell me more how does Pisces feel towards this person Okay, King of Pentacles. Okay, you could be, I forgot to mention, you could be connecting to a fire sign or a water sign here. I do, I did see Scorpio also. How does Pisces feel towards this person? How is Pisces feeling towards this person? The Hermit card, Virgo energy, and we've got the Six of Swords. Let me just look at these cards. Uh, the Magician. <laughs> I bet you that's the same. Oh, no, the Magician with the Page of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Well, the Hanged Man is your energy. Um... Yeah, there, there's the star. There you are. There you are. You're just over here healing, healing yourself. You are distancing yourself from this person. Mm, I feel like with the world card here, you're definitely distancing yourself from this person because you don't want um, a situation with them to play out again. You don't want to have a repeated cycle here with this person. I feel with the hanged man, you're starting to feel differently towards this person. You're starting to view things very, very differently. You feel with the page of pentacles, it's like with the hanged man, you're, you're looking at this person very differently. And you're starting to see here with the page of pentacles that this person is too immature or they're too unstable here for you. And I say unstable because this page, he's standing on one foot. Okay, that doesn't look solid to me. That doesn't look stable to me. So you're starting to view this uh, person as someone who is very unstable and who cannot provide you with the stability and the, and the security uh, that you that you need or that you desire because you opened up the reading with the King of Pentacles. You want someone who is stable. You know, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of instability. I'm even seeing it here with the Six of Swords. You know, this woman, she's standing in a boat that's on water and that's unstable because we can see the waves underneath this boat. There's, you feel that this relationship is 
unstable. Like if you continue to be with this person, uh, it's going to continue being like a rocky relationship. I'm seeing like a rocky relationship. I'm getting that. Hmm. Um, okay, let me just clarify some of this. Why is the Hermit card here for Pisces? Why is the Hermit card here for Pisces? Why is the Hermit card here for Pisces? The five of pentacles so it's like it's like when you really need this person they're not available when you need them to be there for you uh, to pro provide you with i don't know like comfort and support they're not there for you pisces they're not available um this person makes you feel alone this person like brings you this sense of feeling isolated and alone. And if you're in a relationship with someone, you want to feel connected. But you you don't feel connected to this person. Or maybe with the hanged man here, that's what you're starting to realize. You're starting to you realize and see that actually, I don't feel connected to this person like I used to. I feel like maybe at the start with the King of Pentacles, the connection was very strong. But now you're starting to see here with the Page of Cups that the connection is weak. And it could be due to with the Page of Pentacles, this person just doing bare minimum, giving you bare minimum. I see the Page of Pentacles as sometimes a, a, like a breadcrumbing energy. Mm. You, you lack confidence you lack confidence in this connection okay you lack confidence in this dynamic or relationship that's how I feel I feel for you with the magician and the six of swords you you're just wanting to move away from you, you know you're wanting to move away from this person you, you're wanting to move forward with your life okay you're trying to manifest uh this sometimes the six of swords it can be challenging because swords rules the mind but i feel with the magician you're really focused on moving away from an unstable relationship if i can put it like that you know Mm. you want to move to a place where it's more where there's more peace peace of mind what else have we got here yeah because underneath that the ten of wands you you realize here that this is a relationship that required a lot of hard work it was a hard working relationship and one where you felt like you were doing all the work Okay, maybe you were the only one prioritizing this relationship. But now with the Nine of Cups, you have to prioritize your happiness. And I see the full card there. So, all right. Let's grab some last parting messages for you, Pisces. Last parting messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. What is it that Pisces needs to know here when it comes to this situation this week? Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. I feel like there's going to be a sense of relief. Hmm. And I feel like that's going to come when you are in this hermit mode. 
because when you when you go into hermit mode when you distance yourself from this person and you isolate yourself from this person you're coming back home to you you're coming into alignment with you where you can really hone in and listen to your intuition and listen to your soul and you're going to realize in this hermit mode that it's so peaceful because you're not getting the drama that comes with um, you know being in this connection mm. Yeah, it just feels like a big relief. You're going to feel relieved this week. And I feel like it's because you're going to decide here with the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit card to no longer invest any more energy into this person. You've got Believe in the Impossible Blue Moon. I feel like you're going to surprise yourself. This feels like a surprise. You're going to surprise yourself. That's what it feels like. Or it could be that you may receive an unexpected message from this person um, that may take you by surprise. Mm. Okay, what else? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. You could be connecting to a Taurus, but this is the thing, right? You're, you're at a point, Pisces, where, you know, your dreams of being with this person long, ter long term um, require both of you to be committed. And we did see the Ten of uh, Wands here somewhere for you. The Ten of Wands which tells me that, you know, you've been prioritizing this relationship. You've been so heavily invested and committed to this relationship. You feel like you've been doing all the work, but a relationship is a two-way street. And this person hasn't given you, hasn't given you any clear indications or ideas of moving, you know, this relationship forward. Mm. It's like if this relationship's going to work, a plan would have been put into place right now. And again, I'm getting like a solid energy coming in from Taurus. This this card here. Taurus is very solid. Um, and you're not getting that from this relationship. You're not getting that from this person. We saw the two of pentacles earlier. It's very touch and go. It's very hot and cold. Um, it's very, you know, this person's very wishy-washy with you. It's not, it doesn't make you feel safe to, to continue uh, to stick around waiting for this person to give you more of a commitment. So there's your reading, Pisces. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.